So have you ever had that dream job or passion or even a goal? You made some headway on it, but at some point you realize it's a lot bigger of a task than you might have thought. Or maybe it just doesn't seem realistic anymore, or maybe it's time to treat it more as a hobby versus maybe a career path. Whatever the case might be, eventually we just kind of hang it up on the shelf and forget about it. Well, in this video, I kind of want to just dig all of that back up. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a filmmaker or a video creator or some kind of creative. And if you're anything like me, you probably have a passion for making films or videos and you're dedicated to the craft. But why is this important for you? Well, let's find out. Whenever I make a decision to do anything, I just go out and do it. If you've been following the channel for some time, you probably heard the story about when I was eight years old, I decided to take my uncle's video camera and make my very first short well, film. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's go back to my condo and eat dinner. Okay, condo? I didn't even know you slept. But the part of the story that I haven't really talked too much about is when I went to the cinema and for the first time saw the movies that truly inspired me and the work that I want to do. These movies blew my mind and it was at this point in my life when I realized that this kind of work was what I wanted to do as a job. Basically, I found what I wanted to do when I grew up. <laughs> Fast forward, in high school and young adulthood, I came out with a few more short films, sending them into high school film festivals and things like that. But anyway, with all of this in mind and taking all of this under consideration, I finally just knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that I just wanted to tell stories, really good stories. I am in love with storytelling. This is what I wanted to do. And I knew right away that I just wanted to make the films that I wanted to make. That was definitely the dream and the goal but of course, life happens. There really was two things stopping me from pursuing this dream, but I think I'm gonna talk about all that inside because it's starting to rain, so I should probably get back inside and I'm not finding what I need. But anyway, this really isn't a New Year's resolution type video, although it's kind of ironic that it came out on January 1st. <laughs> totally not intended, I've been planning this video for months. <laughs> well, this is more about just digging up those old dreams that you might have. Maybe it's a short film or a script that you wrote that you kind of tabled away because you don't feel like you have the resources or the money or the talent to be able to pull it off. But I'm here to tell you that none of that is true. Oh wait, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later in the video. I had this dream to make the films I wanted to make, to tell stories in this visual medium, but instead I took many different creative paths, but eventually I started doing video full time and doing mainly just corporate videos, TV commercials, and documentaries. After many years of working with clients and working on their video and film projects and their dreams and their goals, it really starts to feel a bit like a rhythm, almost like a cadence. Not to be confused with boring or anything like that, just rhythmic. Meaning I've done it so many times, it's just become like second nature to me. And this is absolutely great for making money because at this point, you know exactly what you're doing, which makes the job a whole lot easier, quicker, and more efficient, which means that you could bring on more clients and in turn, make more money. But it truly is amazing how much time passes by when things are moving forward in your career and you're progressing. Over here? Yeah. Oh, for the sheriff, John? For me, in the midst of all of this, about three or four years ago, something interesting happened that I didn't expect. My mom sent me a very old video from when I was around eight years old. And I remember sitting down and watching this silly little film and it was here when I was reunited with a very familiar but forgotten idea. I want to tell stories and I want to make movies and I want to make the films that I want to make. I realized that I had tabled this dream of wanting to tell these stories to share my vision with the world. I had a lot of stories in my head and a lot of them I had forgotten about until this very moment. And in the midst of all this, I started to ask myself, why did I do that? Why did I forget these dreams, these 
ambitions, these goals, these stories. And I remembered two things. <laughs> number one, the technology at the time just wasn't accessible, which left me with number two. And that was that I thought filmmaking and making movies was just reserved for the elite, the lucky select few that get to be on Hollywood film sets. And then I realized two new real truths. Number one, the technology has never been more accessible than it is today. And number two, there's a whole wave of people all over the internet carving their own paths to making the films that they want to make and distributing them for many people to enjoy and for many people to relate to. And these are people that are telling amazing stories through visual storytelling. And I realized about three or four years ago that I want to be a part of that. That motivation, that dream, that passion was re-sparked. But even though I have told a bit of my story in this video, it's really not about me. It's all about you. Whether your goals are to make a short film, to enter a film into a film festival, to start a YouTube channel, or to get better at making videos, to gain client work and make a living as a full-time filmmaker, whatever it is, don't make the same mistake that I did and table that dream for later. And most importantly, just stay the course and never give up. Just a little reminder for, for me. <laughs> Just enjoy every part of the journey and celebrate every single win, no matter how big or how small. Because the longer you wait, the longer it's gonna take to reach your goals. Make 2024 the year that you started the journey towards your goals and making the commitment to long-term success. And I'll stay committed to helping you and walking with you along the way. And together, let's make the films and the videos that we want to make. Well, that's going to do it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this quick video. If you liked this video or you learned something or you're feeling encouraged or inspired, please click the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, friends. Thank you.